Lordy lordy. Ah, you, you guys really get thrown for a loop sometimes with those drop streams. They are hella worth it though, but man, it really confuses you guys sometimes. Smiley face. Are you, sorry, were you serious that question or not? Because I can't tell. Some of y'all, man. Y'all need some help. Let's see if we can get anything cool on our character tonight. What else are we playing until, uh, Baldur's Gate on Thursday? How many Heretics Asylums am I about to get? These are... No, the Heretics ones are okay. Not sure how old I am. <laughs> I'm 33. I th <laughs> hope my coordination isn't going going too bad just yet. <laughs> I hope I'm not, I'm not losing it quite just yet. But I don't know if you, if you have to be real coordinated to walk on a treadmill when you're like kind of got a desk to support yourself. But thanks, dude. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm doing all right. So far, so good. Oh crap! Put the wrong thing on. That's all right. That was, that was the archer build right there. You think that we want to make the rep rewards like the full rep rewards go over to seasonal? Hold on, what? Uh, I mean, maybe, but like. Like, just, like, have permanent renown, like, across all your characters? I mean, that'd be fine with me, but that, that's not the way they've done it so far, though, no. Up till now, that has not been their strat. Um, but what you could do until they decide to do that is just... Get to work on your new guy, you know? Start leveling that puppy up, you know? Just get, get, get going. Now, is that, that thing is about to explode on me, isn't it? Surely is. Can I go destroy this thing real quick before my wrath falls off? Oh my gosh, look at that regen. Then save it from the barber. Yeah. That is the meat of the game. It's it's really not though. You know what I mean? It, it's it's really not the meat of the game at all. The, the renown is like some kind of like kind of leveling thing. Oh, it, it the meat of the game is like the nightmare dungeon farm and the progression of your character. In my opinion, I I do not think that renown is like the main content of the game. I think renown is like kind of like, like just one of those things that you you know maybe are intended to sim like passively get as you're leveling the power of your character, but. It does end up being one of those things you kind of have to annoyingly grind every time, so... I don't know. Just, you're just a little older, think about it. It's, it's really not as big of a deal as you might think. Promise. I mean, I feel like I am fairly coordinated, but it's... I think it's a lot easier than people think. I don't know. It's actually very comfortable. Might just have to adjust this just a teeny bit, though. Very comfy to walk on. Promise. Just blasting through the door. Watch out now. I feel like, I mean, at least your renown should be, like, it should carry over at least, like, per realm. Like, you shouldn't you should make a new character have to re-level your renown. Like once you do it one time in season, you should that that should be it. Same thing for Eternal. It's just kind of weird that. But whatever, maybe they'll kind of like. There there are there are things that are like cool to grind for a character like your loot and stuff. Your Paragon, you know your whatever your levels and stuff. But what is not cool to grind for a character is stuff like that. Renown is definitely not cool for a character. All right, so you might just not have Paragon rewards on your your little baby character, but whatever. At least not initially. But yeah, when you get when you got to level 50, you have some Paragon points waiting for you. That'd be fine. I mean, it doesn't matter how strong you're at level 12. It's like it's leveling. You know, so you wouldn't really have like a whole lot to do. As like a lobby, because like at least when you're doing little stuff, you can do side quests and the first time dungeons to get like some some XP and some renown. But 
Whatever, they could just let people run dungeons or something. You know? Be fine. That would bother anybody. But they'll figure it out. I mean, they, they brought up the game, and now they're learning a lot about it probably by playing themselves and by playing, like, having, like, you know, player feedback and just kind of seeing how things are received and seeing how things go, and that's fine. It's just, it's just really tough because player, player attention spans, at least in terms of, like, on Twitch, are like a month tops, right? You get, like, a, a game that does really, really well is good and pop like a new game is like popular on Twitch like a month. And it's it's that's just how it is. But but actual like people playing it, you don't always see that. It's based off like Twitch and stuff, but it's it's tough to like really have like people playing forever and ever. But what the cool thing about seasonal content is if they have cool seasons, people come back in and check in, right? People wanna know what's going on and do stuff, so. That's cool. This season started off a little bit weird because they started off with, like, nerfs, right? They were nerfs that, but your characters are still way stronger than they used to be this season. But they did start off with, you know. Okay, so you're gonna have less crit damage and vulnerability available on gear, right? People don't like that. And people are like, they're like a hair trigger to just, like, like revolt. Like a hair trigger to just, like, the devs hate us. They have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> like, they're just they're just waiting for that moment to just freak out. And it, it's definitely toxic, but it is definitely the case. I do not love it personally, but it is how it is. I don't feel like I contribute to it that way, but like I'm I'm in that realm, so I see it. I have to deal with it. And it is pretty annoying to have games that I really enjoy. Um just get like crushed by that kind of cycle constantly you know people just so excited to hate on things and just you know just just dismiss it and then be like okay well what's next there's no fun games to play <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? I don't know I don't know bro but whatever We'll, uh, we'll be checking out Baldur's Gate, and hopefully people don't destroy that game, too. I, I don't know what to expect with Baldur's Gate, though. I've never played a Baldur's Gate game before. But it should be fun. <clears throat> I think one of my potential concerns just for me as a gamer is if it's, like, super chatty, like, super, like, dialogue-heavy and story-driven, it could be kind of, like... A little bit tricky to like, um, I mean, like get into it super heavy, but I'm excited to check it out. And I'm looking forward to it because people are like super jazzed up about it. And again, that's always a really fun time when people are feeling positive. Am I am I stuck like in an environment? Like, what's going on here? I think he blasted me into the Nether. I am I'm actually just stuck. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> he had to, he had to knock me out. He's also regening HP like a beast. Big guy, can you just die? That was weird. That was weird. Yeah, I mean, the games like this, everything is in the end game anyway, right? But that could be an interesting thing to, to do. I mean, you got to play the, with the Luminate Hearts while you're leveling. You know? You did. But yeah, I mean, action RPG games. They're all about endgame anyway. Like, PoE leveling is... I, potentially even, like... More kind of, like, a drag than Diablo leveling. But the endgame is insane, right? So... There's that. 174 hours with the cinematics? Yeah. It's gonna be interesting. We'll see how it feels. Like some people are, like, 50 on internal rooms? Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> but oh well. Yeah, Barber is like crazy OP. Yeah. So you get your characters get crazy strong.
but yeah, leveling's not usually a big focus. So, oh well. Let's go beat these guys up. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, but PoE is fun, fun too. Yeah, PoE's gonna be great. It's probably not gonna come out for like two years though, man. Like, I'm very excited for PoE. I'm a, I'm a big time PoE enjoyer, but it's probably not coming out for two years. Like, we got beta in one year, right? The first beta is in one year, so. And that's, that's a while off. What we do have, though, in the short term is uh, the new PoE League. Which will be really fun. That will be awesome. Well, always a super awkward time. This particular version of the build. There we go. There we go. Nice. Now Ire will be giving me a lot more damage. So eat. So eat. I am about that action, but it's still gonna be fun. Still could be cool. We do tend to be about that action. Alrighty, what's up? Let's hear Dungey. Uh, okay. What's going on? No time to be taking a break there, guy. Just sitting there chilling. Little demon dudes want a piece of you. They're messing around. I don't think we'll. I'm not. Well, yeah. I'm not sure how it fits in our schedule. I don't think we'll be able to fit in our schedule, but. One of these, like, variety dreams I have is playing uh, Monster Hunter World. You guys ever play that? I realized relatively recently in my gaming life how much I enjoy Monster Hunter-style games. I've not really played them over the years. We played a couple of them and really loved it. Like, we played Monster Hunter Rise. Loved that. And we played Wild Hearts, which I really enjoyed that, too. I think Monster Hunter World is a really good one. And Capcom said it's, that it's got a game coming out that people are going to go nuts over. So maybe that's one of those. Ultima Online. I don't think so. It's like one of those. Is that one of those old MMOs? I don't think so. That might have been a little bit before my time. They know what you're talking about, though. Slice them up. Oh yeah. Yo, is Baldur's Gate gonna have drops? I think it is actually, right? <laughs> That'd be nice. Let's see how that goes. An actual real chest, huh? Look at that. Actual real normal chest. I don't think we'll need to do a drop-a-thon for Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I doubt it, but who knows? Maybe maybe Baldur's Gate will pop off on our channel. I'm excited to give it a try, see how it goes. What time does it come out? Because we have a sponsored stream for it in the afternoon, but um, sort of see. We'll probably fire it up as soon as we're able, right? Played on the daytime gaming stream. Ow. Sliced. What's going on? This thing is just continuing to spew stuff everywhere. When does it release? So I'm wondering what time. Uh, the date is the third, so not tomorrow, but the next day. So Thursday. It's coming. It's coming. Pretty exciting. That seems to be like the kind of the the game people are pumped about, so I'm up for the hype, dude. I'm here for it. I'm with it. I'm gonna be playing it. 
because I'm kind of a Baldur's Gate noob. I am a big, uh, like, you know, like fantasy RPG enjoyer, so. We're gonna dive in and see what's up. I'm just wondering what time, just kind of from a streaming perspective. We'll play it like that day, no matter what, I think. Because we, we, we do have a sponsored stream for it, though, which is really, really cool. It's always fun to have a sponsored stream for a game that you're excited about playing anyway, right? What time to play? Aw, oh, rip. Well, we'll be able to, you know, share some gameplay with you. You can kind of experience it through our content if you're interested. Experience the story of our character. But if I'm not mistaken, you make the kind of like a party of characters, right? You have your character, but then you have like a party. And then there's a lot of focus on like interactions between those party members, right? It's one of the one of those style. You know, like taking the hobbits to Isengard kind of thing, right? Like everybody's gotta chip in and use their skills to help you get where you gotta go. Be cool. I've done so few of those little malignant tunnels actually now I think about it. So I have all these invokers still to use. Just blasting dungeons, dude. But nightmare dungeons do seem to be uh still a pretty good way to get that end game going. I think I'm on the right track. I will. I will play it for you. I got you. What are you looking for? Death Rebels. There it is. Yeah, it's just from typing the word treadmill in the chat, you got it. Um, you also can find this build if you're interested in that. Exclamation mark builds. This will be the World Tier 4 level 75 plus update. We recorded the video for it today, and I went ahead and posted the Mobilitics like, like profile build up there for you guys, and then the guide will be up tomorrow. If you're interested in uh, playing some double swing action, pretty fun. I'm still using Unconstrained, the um, extra Berserk duration and effect. I think that, um, what's it called? The more rage, more damage skill could be good for this, but I, I want a little bit more resource generation before I do that. It feels fine, but it doesn't really feel different enough for me to like want to switch it up, especially when the uh Did I need some four to five? What's going on? I'm just dying to this guy. He's poison and fire, so it's pretty gross. Yuck. Oh, whatever. But yeah, it's just it feels weird to uh, like run out of energy. Now, if I was playing the basic attack build, like if I had a basic attack, it probably wouldn't be as bad. Because I could just build up rage a little bit more smoothly. But for this setup, like if you run out of rage, it's really troll. You don't run out of rage too often, but it does happen sometimes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna assassinate these guys. Dude, I'm about to, I need to, I actually do need to take that freaking fire resistance note in my in my uh, talent tree, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Those fire enchanted guys are no joke. That is that is too much right there, man. I like the barber heart. I, I, there's things I like about it, there's things I don't like about it. I think overall it's insane. Um, but there are certain things about my build that it interferes with, which I don't. I don't love that element of it. Yeah, I think overall is insane. Definitely pretty wild. But in particular, yeah, like, it does kind of interfere with some of my Fortify generation. It may, it may interfere with some of the stunning and the bleeding that I'm doing. But, I mean, it, it's, it's definitely insane, right? The critter, thanks for the 20 months, man. Thank you, dude. It's unbridled wrath, I believe is what it's called. Why are these guys injured? Why were they hurt? Was this uh was this little adventure actually kicking their butt? 
Maybe they were. I think she was kind of going to work on them, really. You're doing it to them. Yeah. Yeah, that element of it, too, is like... I keep saying it, but it was funny because... I liked Rend a lot, but one of the things I didn't like about Rend was how... You know, you had to wait for the enemies to die. You, you, you couldn't, like, you know, have just one-shot them. You could absorb their entire health bar with one bleed, but they wouldn't die immediately. And I kind of liked it when my damage was being done immediately. But now we're playing Barber, and it's like, we're back to them not getting really pure one shot anymore. Kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's obviously, like, insane, right? Obviously insanely powerful. I'll try to keep one alive, but... No promises. Oh, she's kind of outside of the door. Oh, no, she came in. Never mind. Well, you're dead, then. What are you doing in here? Get out of here. Just come inside to stand in fire? What are you doing? Can't save you from that. She's alive, though. Maybe I can save her from that. We got her. But thank you, Zekruda. Big flex for you, man. Thanks for pumping us up, dude. Appreciate the love, man. Bringing the heat. Okay. Let's go beat up this boss. I really need some fortify off of um, overcapping rage. And as it stands right now, I'm getting fortify off of dealing damage, like direct damage while berserk. But I don't really even deal that much. Oh, I'm actually kind of in trouble. I don't really do that much damage when I'm Berserk as a result of the fact that uh, all the damage gets absorbed by Barber, right? That's a big damage, though. Slice him up. Gotta kind of awkwardly wait for shouts here. There we go. It's kind of an alright dungeon. I actually don't even really need to level this one up. Probably better off doing like this. Just getting exploit like maxed or just getting higher maxed out really. I think it's more fun to run, you know, relatively engaging nightmares. One thing about uh, lunging is you kind of need a uh, kind of need a, a source of Berserk generation. Your build's weak, so not that high level. It's okay. I, I'll carry. I will carry us. Don't worry, my level 96 friend. I will carry you. <laughs> Return the favor. I got this, this time. I have achieved a, a level of swollness that is uh, a little more sufficient these days. Well, I guess mobs do have more health now, huh? Compared to so low. If anybody's got some uh, Nightmare 40 plus um, viable characters, want to run some Nightmares for XP, let's do it. Especially like a big druid or necromancer that can group stuff up for us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Full clear? I mean, I guess. Got the key, may as well, right? Probably stick together a little bit though. Running fifties, yeah. Pumping. I think a fifty. I'd be probably defensively not ready for a fifty. The barbers throw me off, man. I have to fix my defenses. My fortified generation was relying on actually hitting enemies, and when they're immune, I, I don't think I get the lucky hit. 
But if we get some more rage generation, it should be okay. Running with a party is always weird, though. It definitely changes the way things work. Definitely takes some getting used to, I think. Oh! Pull him out. I don't have as much healing either. There, Duck, let's go, man. Showing us some love. The big. Oh! Get the one out of that. With the big Super Saiyan 2 pumps. Thank you, man. The demonic horde, yeah. Haven't been playing WoW a whole lot recently, but. At, at some point we will, surely. Uh oh. There's a thingo back here. The Levinsky might want to just grab this real quick. Wow, I'll be there though. Wow, it's good stuff. But thank you, though, man. Yeah, we could. We could do some some defensive hearts. We could. We wanted to go that route. Yeah, if we have the grip, we can ground stomp that grip. You're pretty good. Okay. I don't know what the cooldowns are, but yeah, it could be good. Alright, Monoxide. GG's. Happy to take care of that Prime sub if it ever needs a home for you, man. I got your back. Nice, snuggly, warm, loving home. Steady diet of games and gains. I got you, bro. Necromancer stuff looks like it's enemy stuff, though. It's freaky. That's freaky. I got your back, lady. Alright, let's go. Let's ride. Bruh. Back in the no damage life right now, unfortunately. Yeah, the butcher, he's he's still scary to my character right now, man. Not strong enough that dude yet. Well, well I mean like we can absolutely kill him on like, you know. Most dungeons, but when we're doing like our level 40s and stuff where the mobs are 20 levels higher than me, yeah, Butcher 20 levels higher than me is not, not an easy fight. <laughs> I just, you just can't really get a stagger on him, just too buff. Too sturdy, too thick. Yeah, when I was playing Ren though, he was just, he was a literal loot goblin. The Ren, the Ren Zerker, holy moly. The Bleed Zerker, yeah, that was... That was a build. That was a build, boys. I have to revisit that thing too. That was a build. Get that creeping death on there. Oh, mama! Shred that dude. Okay. Bonk. Time. To pop off. There's so many blood blisters in this one. I guess since there's like more players, there's just more annoying crap to deal with. <laughs> Is that how that works? There's more of you, so there's more blisties. Big stall. Light them up. More loot, too, maybe with more players, right? Nice two million? Yeah. That is the barber. It's insane, yeah. Big ol' AoE pops, too. Yeah. It is absolutely insane. This guy's gonna get popped, too. A little. Kinda hanging in there, actually, right now. He's gonna pop me! I'm not careful. What the heck? There he is. Just laid me off. Laid me low! Look at that! Kill it. Wait, did we all die? No, just two of us. Wait, we suck. What the heck? That did slay me. We suck. What the heck? 
Nightmare Scrapper set me on my butt. Uh, yeah, ask uh, Reaper. Oh. Are you uh, running 40s on your character? Are you strong enough? Let's see. As I get one, well, not one tap, but as I get stunned to death by that guy. Smacked up. A lot of mobs over here, boys. I like that. I like that grip. Those things are gonna get, get eviscerated. What the? Ground effects, something like that? Let's, yeah, watch out for that. That's a whole lot of looties. Okay. Battle Royale for that guy. Oh my goodness. Barbered. Absolutely barbered. Numbing Wrath? Wait a minute. That's what I need. I think it's going to be a dirt one or a good one. Is it at least Ancestral? I mean, pretty dirt, but we'll take it, I guess. Yep, just get him in if he's got what it takes. We need that though. Wait. Are we gonna level up this battle? I, I don't really need bleeding damage to the thing. I, 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 just, I want the effect, but I don't necessarily need the, the buffed you know, damage or whatever. Kind of annoying. There's a lot of things that, like, kind of complicates my build. But yeah, season one's fun so far. I'm digging it. Mobs. There, there are definitely some things that I could do to make it make more sense, I think. Or to make it, like, kind of still work with what I want to do. But again, there are some, some different types of little weirdness that occur as a result of the barber. And I, I think the damage of it is, is like, worth it, still. But if I can find other, like, Wrathful Malignant Heart to experiment with, I probably will do that, too. It, it, it is definitely, like, an acquired taste. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm still not sure if I even like it. The, the Giga Pump damage is definitely good, though. That is hard to pass up, but... Yeah, I don't know. That's just part of the first crit the bar missed with. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I crit frequently, so it's like that is gonna be a problem. But whatever. I'll think about it. I also need to see how frequently I have, like, overcap rage now. Looks like Limitless Rage is, like, not even really going off most of the time now. With this setup. Although, with teammates... Realistically, I probably could take off this basic attack. <laughs> probably could. Just run around and just stomp stuff. Actually, I don't know if my rage would actually be better with the team. Probably would actually be worse. My rage generation might be better with shouts and stuff, though. Because if I'm not proc and limitless rage as much, that's not good. Not good. I don't know. I think that's just like the nature of Diablo. At least right now, there's always there's all this little give and take with your build. 
so far. A cursed shrine, oh boy. It might always be like that. We are playing Baldur's Gate, Dukes, yep. Add a weapon swap Hoda stuff? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. That, that one dude's doing it, but I'm not a believer, I don't think. I don't, I don't know about that one. I think there's better ways of getting 10% extra rage generation than weapon swapping to Hoda for this build. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think so. That is a unique meme right there. Right, while we're killing stuff here, let me... Reallocate. There we go. This goes here. This goes here. There we go. It's a lot of loot. Oh. There we go. This is the version that we made the video about today. Which I do like just fine. Right, how many we got? We got we get one more? Let's go. Like oh, is it like 30%? Okay. That's pretty big then. Oh no, I think you're right, yeah. That is pretty big then, yeah. Cause right, it, it stacks up to 10, it's not 10%. Yeah. Oh, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. Slice them and dice them then, boys. I think overall, this is what I prefer, and then you just, you just need to get enough rage where those little awkward situations are less frequent and more CDR for the same reason. Okay. Off we go then. That, that That's true, that's true. And 30% increased rage generation is pretty good. Definitely not insignificant, you know? Fire it up. Barber this dude. So I think they're absorbing my barber too. So like right, right now I have no I have no abilities for a little while, but But he's dead, so it's all good. But he's already dead. Alright. I'm gonna go grab this tree quest real quick. I don't have much room though. I do more damage while fortified and everything else too, right? There's a lot. But let me see, what's my damage reduction from fortified? I feel like I'm stacking up a little bit too much though. Thirty-five, yeah. I think it's a stack a little high, but whatever. What ifs? Shred him. Nice grip. Keep that rage nice and juicily overcapped. Get that fortify flowing in. Yes, sir. This does make me want to still have, uh, um, what's it called? More resource gain on my rings. That's for overcapping rage like crazy. For fortify and everything else. Kinda do. Oh, I have a shielder back there. I don't know if he's close enough to pick those elites, but maybe. 
huge pump. Oh. <laughs> Awkward timing there. My bad. Let's see, we got any more stompables? Where's me rage? You've got to kind of be able to hit stuff. Because you can burn through your rage pretty quick too, but it comes back. Lamb. Assassinated. Nice. Big stomper on those dudes. Yeah, setting that combo up is pretty gnarly. The big stomp. What's up, Adrian? I'm still using the Bold Chieftains plus, um, plus shout combo. I need better shout rings, though, man. That's, like, one thing that's really hurt me. Because I'm still only rocking two Fury per second when shouts are active. It's killing me. That is just not cutting it, you know? Not cutting it. Popped. Ooh. Over here. Big stuns, big pops. Okay. Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Dig into that tready a little bit. Face rolling this place now. But we definitely, we definitely need to get uh, much better shot rings. It, it's weird. I I've, haven't found a single one. I mean, it's it's pretty rare. It took me a while to get like a good one. Um, last season too, so I understand. Yeah, it, it's a it's a big deal. Oh, let's take a break. We're not taking a break. Uh, not yet. Uh, we're not done yet. We're just getting started. This is the start of Wait for me, boys. Yeah, I mean. Grandpa definitely still wanted, but, um, you know, it's like Omega Rare, so not likely to get it. The Mother's Embrace. Ow. Goodbye. Goodbye. That thing. So yeah, you definitely still want it, but it is still, you know, near impossible to get. <laughs> but yeah. It is pretty funny that some people got Shakos during that one little, like, uh, accidental extra drop rate time. Still pretty crazy. Right, give me them fort gains, baby. Big fort gains. Cause yeah, we uh we don't have the glyph for it yet, but we still do a little bit more damage while fortified. And eventually I probably will put the glyph in there for it and do like giga damage while fortified. I like that one. It's kind of a cool effect. My fort should be a little more reliable now though. So we have Warbringer, so we can generate Fortify by Spending Rage, generate Fortify by Overcapping Rage, all good. But we do generate Fortify by, um, what's it called, by hitting things while I'm Berserk, but that one doesn't really seem as reliable with, with Barber. Whatevs. 
Tried to try to get health. Yeah, that was that was during my family time, so we definitely missed it. But whatever, who cares? Who cares? Let's roll. Good enough, stupid. Why do you want Fury Gen on ring when you stay at Max Fury? Uh, because you don't always stay at Max Fury. And overcapping your Fury helps you keep uh, your damage rolling, basically. The harder you overcap Fury, like, the more likely you are to have, like, you know, Omega maxed out, um, like, Limitless Rage, which is, you know, every point of Fury that you get over your cap gives you a percent more damage, right? Up to a ton more damage. And uh, overcapping rage also gives you fortified, so it's it's basically if you're able to overcap your your rage consistently, then it's giving you a massive amount of offense and defense. And if um, if I get the glyph for it and stuff, then we'll be doing more damage when um, fortified too, right? So even more than that. that. That's what I'm thinking, at least. So notice, I, I'm like, I have enough fury to attack most time, but right now against bosses, it does dip. Which is troll. Um, but also, I want to be overcapping my fury. Consistently. Almost got this thing, too. That'd be fun. Very neat, very cool. Right, we're gonna be getting in there too, man. I know, I know. He got he got real lean. I think I had a little more mass than him, but he has you know what a couple million subs on YouTube. So who cares if I'm have ten pounds more muscle mass than him? Who cares? <laughs> he's he's making big gains there. But yeah, here we'll see how it goes, man. Here's to hoping. Should be looking pretty sharp on show day, though, if I have my way. Um, not dieting too fast. Although I will say that uh, I did miscalculate how much time we had until the show. I don't know how I did that. I have no idea how. I thought we were, like, going to be eight weeks out, but we're, we're actually going to be as ten weeks out. Pretty crazy. You don't envy the work seems stressful me? Oh, no. I don't know, man. You definitely have to want it. Like, if you don't, if you don't want to do it, then don't. But, um... It actually ends up being pretty pretty fun and gives you some good purpose to your training and the diet doesn't always feel amazing in terms of your energy levels but it is kind of fun to, to have something to you know like you're always working towards something right and I, li I like that feeling I'm always working on something and bodybuilding is kind of weird when you think about it but for whatever reason I just enjoy it and as a result I don't really think about it way too hard it's kind of like, yeah, just just do do this, you know. Don't do things that are unhealthy for you. Uh, I mean, to be to be fair, like being relatively low body fat may not be super healthy for like a super long time, but for the short term, like you know, dying in some body fat off and getting lean is not like an unhealthy thing to do, you know. So, just don't want to. I don't. I don't want to stay real lean for real long this time, and we're not going to. So. Kind of good on that, right? How long does the tan stay on for? I mean, most of it comes off when you shower. But you'll see. On the stream, we'll, we'll look tan for a little bit, but not for real long. Hey, Quaylin. How the shows go tonight, man? Thanks for putting that editing work. Oh, resistance training is... Yeah, that's lovely. It's just the dieting part. The dieting part is the part where it's like, eh... Getting real low body weight or real low body fat is like potentially not super good for like the long run, but I don't do it for for that long. And the way that I diet, uh, especially this time around, is I've been really pulling on the reins. Like I've really been holding myself back from going crazy with the diet, but I'm getting I'm eating what I think is like pretty dang nutritious food that helps me like still feel good. And my calories are not like going crazy low, although they are pretty low. But even though my calories are low, I don't really feel like bad, you know what I mean? So. That's nice. Like, sometimes I actually feel like I'm eating a lot. Um, but I think from... Sometimes from what I've heard is that athletes 
who have coaches sometimes feel like their coaches are having them eat a ton of food. But that's just... The idea is to be able to still train hard and, and lose weight and lose fat, but just, you know, keep your muscle and don't go too low too quick. And that's kind of the idea, so... That's kind of where I'm at right now. Although my calories are lower than... And sometimes I'm, I'm only eating like maybe 2200 calories a day right now uh, but I don't really feel that bad with it and I am trying to get leaner than I've ever been before so there's that component to it as well but training for the most part has been pretty good I think last week I went a little lower than I needed to on calories and I, I also have I, I skipped like a couple weeks of refeed days so I think I got a, and, and we and we had like a really just big work week and not very much sleep, so it was a lot of other stuff just coming into the play. But I uh, I weighed in on Saturday morning at 185, and that was like, uh, that's a little, it's a little lower than we want. So I probably got a little, little depleted. Um, but yeah, then we had a refeed day on Sunday, and I felt really like rough on Monday just because I was think I was underslept still. But today I felt good. That's fun. I'll go in the gym today. And if I'm still feeling good in the gym, like that's that's really nice. This is like kind of awkward. I can't attack right now. Anyway, max sword technique. No, I have not max sword technique. I need to. Next comp is October 14th. So do the math on it for me. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's like ten and a half weeks, right? <laughs> I think so. Make sure, make sure my math is right on that one. Ten and a half weeks, I'm pretty sure. Check the numbers. Ow. There we go. So, I don't know. 2200 calories again for ten weeks? I hope that's not too low. But I feel good. I like the foods that I'm eating, and I don't really struggle with hunger. I just want to make sure I'm not going to depleto mode and, like, uh, put muscle at risk. But as long as I can still train hard. I mean, to be fair, we're, we're even, like, you know, almost still, you know, moving up in weight and reps every workout. Because we're trying to really make sure we do that with the, the RP strength hypertrophy training app that we've been using. So, I mean, that's, seems good feel good. I just want to get shredded. You know? On your birthday, I try to win you a trophy on your birthday. Although if I do win, I'm giving it to Archer, so you can't have the trophy, but I'll... It'll be... It'll be, uh... Another, another thing to celebrate that day for you. <laughs> right, that's definitely, definitely giving it to Archer. Other than that, yeah. We'll see what we can do that day, brother. You kind of want to let me compete in physique. That'd be kind of fun. Slice them up. There we go. Boom. Yes, I used double swing build to change the main skill to Hoda till I was level 10. Had fun. Had no fun doing it. Okay. Done now. Yeah. Right. I think I might. I might have to like uh, level with like um, whirlwind or something. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Just like run some like normal dungeons as a whirlwind or something, with a with a two-handed sword and then a two-handed axe. It's probably it good. I have double swing gloves on, but who, who cares? While we're here, I should just whirlwind. Nobody nobody will know, right? They'll they'll never know that we're whirlwinding to level my weapon up. No one will know. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. No one needs to know that we're weapon leveling in this level 44. Probably should not do this, but... Let's see how it goes. I'll just, like, instantly die. Like, punish for my, my trolling of my group here. If I do damage? Oh, hell yeah, look at that big bump. <laughs> 
insane damage. Look at that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's see if I get any weapon levels off this. Let's see. Let's see. Nobody, nobody knows that I'm not doing damage. It's because it's just Barber, bro. It's just Barber. It's just the Barber. Yeah. It looks like I'm not doing damage. It's just the Barber. Yeah. I'm actually pumping. Just the Barber. See? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, snap. I'm sorry. Okay, I think this is a little too greed. Oh, it's volcanic. Yeah. Wait. Come back. Oh. That's a little too grief. Oh. A little too griefy. I thought about it for a second, but no. Too troll. Ooh, we get this though. We're in there now. Never played ARPGs in Devil Games pretty old, but I love D4. Yeah, that's good though, man. That's good. I think that's like part of the idea behind some of the design choices of Diablo 4 is like make it fun for people to play, make it easy to get into. You can still go like super min maxi and make a crazy character and have a lot of little little elements of like you know piecing your build together. But it can absolutely be your first action RPG and not be like overwhelming or whatever, right? Yeah, I do walk on the treadmill in the even time, yep. I do. Yeah, we're gonna see how Baldur's Gate feels too. It should be fun. Uh oh. I was going the wrong way here. Wait for me, boys. I'm coming. Bonk. Ugh. Gotta dodge that. Flat. You honestly need one? The treadmill? Is it super small? Uh, no, it's not super small, but it's not like a gym treadmill. Doesn't take up quite that much room. And back problems? Yeah. Have you looked at the McGill Big 3? Train your glutes. I think we talked about that, didn't we? Yesterday? I think so. Yeah, I think the, the Barber is just almost like a little too good, but if I find a, another Wrathful Heart, then I will, uh... Oh, whoops. I might try something different. Barber's kind of interfering with a lot of things this build is doing. In, but it's you're just trading it for, like, big pump. But I don't I just don't have another good Wrathful Heart yet. I have, like, some of the... I have, like, some weak damage reduction ones, but... I haven't really found another one of the cycling uh, buff ones yet. That's probably the one I would want to use. I mean, you could use one where you just avoid damage, but I don't know. Even then, it's like I also haven't found a necklace that's good enough for that yet. And I don't think I just want to, like, replace... Like, I don't think I want to, like, delete this barber. It just seems like a bit of a waste. You know? Uh-huh. Yeah, the attack speed was pretty fun, so... You know... Maybe tomorrow during the day we could just do some like farming for it, but I don't really want to do it right now. I just just want to walk in the treadmill and face roll some dungeons with the boys, you know. And that's fine for now. Just face roll some dungeons with the oh, that's explosion poisons. Watch out. Face roll some dungeons with the boys. You feel me? But I think this build is almost like mechanic. The, the mechanics of the build work better without Barber. But Barber is also just like potentially too good to not use in terms of the damage that you do. Like if Barber didn't just like make enemies immune, like. <laughs> If there was some way to make it so the damage could get, like, absorbed and stored, 
without like not letting your like effects get applied that'd be better right like you still need to like I don't know like stun mobs and apply like your like direct damage effects need to be able to go off and stuff I don't know but whatever yeah mine's like 2.6 yeah I have a 2.1 as well though so I could use that we may need to just go ahead and start leveling territorial Ire is fun because I would still get more damage bonuses right now with it. But I think we're gonna start working towards territorial and it'd be nice to have the, the glyph like ready to go, I guess. But like that's since the beginning with side quest media. Very cool. Take a big cut? Yeah, generally they take they do take a cut, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But again, that's part of the deal. And well worth it too, in my opinion. But th then again, you gotta decide if the- oh crap, I forgot to grab the thing I wanted to do. You gotta decide if the, um... If it's worth it to you, right? If you don't need the help with your management, then the cut probably isn't worth it, right? But if, if you're running a business to the point where that's helpful to you, then yeah, it's worth it. Definitely. That's what we tell people. When you work with content creators and they're like, hmm, I don't know if I want to get that cut up. It's like, oh, why? No worries. You know, if you don't need it, if you don't need the service, then they keep that, you know? But, oh. There's definitely some advantages of being with, with a management company. It saves you a lot of time so you can focus on streaming more, you know? If you can spend, you know, more time streaming and, you know, that time generates you more opportunities and more revenue, maybe that, that little cut is just, you know, cost of expansion, right? So. We gotta kill these things, boys. I got on blood blister duty out here. Oh, we're dead. I hate fire damage. It hurts so much. I'm gonna go have to take that, that talent point to reduce my fire damage. My build, it just stings. I mean, sheesh. It just stings. What the heck? Is it worth it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Indeed. You, have to, you don't have to do any taxes in New Zealand? Yeah, so the United States is like, okay, so guess how much money you owe us. And it's like, uh, okay. Then if you get it wrong, <laughs> like, nope, you owe us more than that. And it's like, okay, why didn't you just tell me in the first place? <laughs> so like, <laughs> it's, it's kind of troll. Probably because there's like a whole business associated with like people doing your taxes too. That's nice. The government just says, "Yeah, this is how much you owe us," and then that's, that'd be cool. Yeah. But instead, it's like, like there's like I saw like a little meme. It's like, how how much do you think you owe us? Like I have no idea. And they're like, guess, like this much, and they're just like jail. <laughs> it's like, wait, what the fuck? Jail for you. You didn't get that number. You didn't guess the number right. Time to go to jail. Like, wait, what? That's kind of how it is. Yeah. Just how it is. But whatever. Again, I mean, the first time I ever paid taxes, uh, it made me want to puke. Um, but you kind of get used to the blows by this point. Um, but, ideally, your tax dollars are going towards things that help your community and whatnot, right? So, if, it if the tax money that I'm paying helps people out, you know, helps keep our, our state good and helps keep our country good, then okay. Then that's why you gotta vote, to make sure that the people who are making decisions that kind of stuff are representing your interests and what you think is best for everybody, so. That works, but yes, it is. Taxes in particular are kind of weird. Yeah, the fire damage is yucky. Makes me want to grab that resistance node. It's like three points, it's probably be worth. 
That's the concern. Yeah. The tax dollars are going towards things that are not good or whatever, right? That's the concern, but... Oh, well, what are you going to do? You got to pay taxes. <laughs> or you go to jail. I'd rather just say, all right, cool. You can have it. Very grateful for what I get to do, so... Not trying to fuss too hard, right? Not trying to fuss too hard. But, you know, it goes to, you know, fun, like, you know... Federal or state provided services, so that's good. Helps take care of people. Helps with schools and roads and whatever else, right? And you want those things, so you can you can be kind of like mad about it, which is understandable, or you can kind of view yourself as a member of a community and you're doing what you can to help out, and that, that feels a little better to me, so yeah. That's what I try to do these days. That'd be a mad like you. They're taking how much? Oh, what? <laughs> but whatever. I hate CC immune mobs. It's the worst. There we go. Just barber them down. See, I literally have no basic attack, so I can't. I, I'm I'm off of uh. A blister killing duty in the group. Oh, basic attack, boys. Nothing I can do. Can't help. That's weird. Pump them down, boys. Ooh, 10 million. Nice. Good job, team. All me. <laughs> All me on the 10 million damage hit there for sure. Give me that. Give me that. Let's keep working on territorial there a little bit. I, I feel like this is, you know, this is my job. It's crazy though, but I find myself in a position to do things that I like to do, which is awesome. Or boss soon. Yeah, do you guys want to try to blast this thing? We can do it. We can do an older's cave pretty quick, I think. Me, I'm tight when that happened. I don't know. Maybe occasionally. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. Like, the, are you asking me if it feels like a drag? Sometimes. But you're asking me like, uh, when do I wake up? Do I do I think I have like a schedule? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I definitely have like times where I gotta do stuff, but um, it's not always like okay, I'm gonna be running nightmare dungeons at this time, this time, then I'm gonna do PvP from this time to this time. Not always that, but no, like we have we have a schedule. Yeah. There's, you know. There's some some wiggle room in that schedule. You can type exclamation mark schedule to see like what I approximately try to do. Yeah. There's that. There we go. Let me try to read that question before it's death pull, so I'm gonna get one shot here. You're asking me, do you call it and feel like it's work? Do you identify this as a job as you want anything else? So I'm not waking up the stream. It's okay. I got work. Time to wake up. It's, I mean, I don't know if I. I don't know how to how to understand that distinction. I got I got stuff that I got to do. Got to get up and do it. <laughs> this is my day. I mean, I don't know. Like, do you for your wherever your job is? Do you specifically think that you know? Same kind of thing. Like, do you think of it as this is what I do for a living, or do you say like I have to get up and start to set your mind to the task that you have, right? Right. I mean, if, if you don't stream for a living, it, then it's not your job. It's not, you're not going to think of it like a job, I guess, right? Unless, unless you wanted to take it seriously and like you know 
have a schedule surrounding it, but I think having a schedule for your day is good, whether it's for work or, you know, making sure you have time for your family or making sure you take time for your exercise or whatever. Like, you know, even if you don't do bodybuilding or fitness as your work, you probably still want, might be taking it seriously, like setting aside some time for it, if I'm, if I'm understanding what you're asking me correctly, right? But no, I've been doing content creation full time for 12 years. I mean, this is what I do. Like, this is this is what I love. You know, like I don't know. I think it's a very unique job, but I'm not kind of just like farting around. <laughs> Sometimes I am. But no, I mean, I have, I, I don't know if you notice. I, I do have a schedule, right? Yeah, I try. <laughs> But sometimes stuff comes up, and you gotta spend more time on some things than others, or whatever, you know? Yeah, maybe maybe I'm not answering your question in the way that you're thinking of it, but I'm trying. Thanks, artist. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, dude. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Rough, Nick. What's up, man? What's up? Fast forward in 16 days, I was snap. But yeah, there's there's a lot of different things that I do in my in my day, and streaming is a big part of it for sure. Thank you, artists, and big flex for you, man. Thanks for pumping us up. Make sure you guys hit him with the flex, show him some love in the chat. Pumping all of us up. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this is this is definitely something I take seriously and think of as what I do for a job and something that you know I want to try to get better at over time and everything, right? I want I want it to succeed. Oh, I actually did. But there's, you know, definitely a crazy unique opportunity, and so it, it, you maybe you treat it differently than some things. But I think part of it is I'm like I'm, I'm, you know, working for like you know myself, but I also you know take your guys' support very seriously. And so the decisions that I make about like what I do, I mean, I take that in consideration. Like, you guys have made these opportunities possible for me, and I want to make the most out of those opportunities, right? So yeah, you know, people, people. Uh, it's, it's another way to think about it is people like what I do. So you know, people are excited for the morning gym streams. People are excited for the the gaming streams. People are excited to hear you know my Paragon updates for my stuff. So. You know, there's a lot of different reasons why you want to get after it and do it. The, the, it. It being my job is like one part of it, but I don't, I don't know. I think most of the time I'm just sort of thinking of it as like things that I want to do because these are the things that I set my, my time towards and my energy towards and my effort towards. And if those are the things I'm going to put effort into, I want them to go well and improve. So... But I think I mean I would I would hope that whatever you do for work like you take pride in it and you try to do a good job at it, right? Does that make sense? Watch out now! We're spawning some boys, some fire dudes, some fire and ice dudes. All these guys going back here, getting ganked by me. Try to hang out with homies over here. Got it then. Oh, because does it feel like work? Me that that just that means different things to different people, right? So, like some people would ask that question, they're like, and, and they would be asking like, does this is this ever not fun, right? Oh, yeah, that's that's, like a, that's a different question. Okay. Um. Yeah, we gotta try to resist the urge to keep leveling this in Val. <laughs> That's not actually gonna increase my damage at all. We only need it for the effect, and we already have the effect, so. What the heck? I hate this thing so much. 
but whatever. We'll carry on. We'll do what we must. The funny thing is, even, even if I take off the barber, if anybody has it in our party, it's the same thing. So actually, other, other people can grief you with their builds too, huh? What is going on? Is this, is this one little guy just destroying you? That one, that one beetle just took out everybody. What in the world? I'm gonna get beetle blasted. Sheesh. Hello there. Ow. Slice them up, boys. You know what I've never really done? I've never really done like a group focused build. You know? I am playing on PC. I just use I like the controller for, for Diablo. Feels very cozy and nice, but yeah. On PC though. Guys gonna charge me. Get these little stingy boys. That's like the most. Yeah, we're just dropping left and right, man. Sheesh! How far you walk for stream? Uh, no, I walk like two miles per hour. I walk pretty slow. Four miles per hour would be a decent little clip. <laughs> this, this is just kind of slow, steady right now. Slow and steady. I think we go for duration still. I don't really need that much Berserk duration, but it is kind of nice to have it. It gives me some options for later, that's for sure. Ooh. Get him up. Dude, that thing is slamming, what the heck? It's just going off every one second right there. A troll. That thing is the worst. Well, I think the lightning one's the worst, but that thing is annoying. Like, go away, man. Go away. No, first up, man. Did I upload it? I did. I did. It's up there. The one you want is probably the level 31 though. You don't you don't want this one yet. Level 31's uh gonna be good for you if you're still leveling. But yes indeed. It is up there, it is updated. It's good to go. The video will be live for it tomorrow, so oh, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. I gotcha. Thanks for tuning into the videos too and the stream. And if you guys enjoy the stream and haven't clicked that follow yet, be sure to click that follow button. Come say hey in the chat. I'm putting you on YouTube. This right now, probably not. The build guide though, yeah. That's gonna be up there. Probably not. We're just we're just chilling right now. His face rolling. Face rolling some Dungerinis. Oh no, it's the lightning totem boys. Here comes my montage death. JK. JK, they thought. They thought they could take me out. Probably will die, but not that time, at least. Oh, it's a fake one. Nice. More, more mobs to farm. Watch out now. I do kind of want to go back to Rand at some point. Let's love a whole new barbarian for that. <laughs> we'll see. 
play play the, uh, the creeping death. I don't even know if that's really for me, but I don't know. Probably could be. How many debuffs are we really gonna be able to put on somebody? Slows are not really reliable anymore. A stun would increase the bleed, but I think this would be like always stun. Get a butcher's cleaver for a fear, azure wrath for a, a freeze. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, the stream, the streams are usually you know like the, the nighttime streams like three, three and a half hours, so it's like six or seven miles right now. We just have. <laughs> We used to do longer streams at night, and we would be walking like 10 miles if we wanted to, but I'm, I'm dialing it back a little bit so we can get a little bit better rest. A little bit better training that way. The sleep, man, I cannot tell you, dude. It makes the biggest difference in the world. How I feel in the gym that morning. Or just, it, 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 like, it feels, it makes the difference in how you feel in general, but the gym in particular. I'm not getting a ton of sleep, but, but I'm getting like, like, if I can get seven hours of sleep, that's pretty good. Just got so just got stuff going on, man. Just ain't got that much time to sleep. Can't be sitting around in a bed. Oh, nice. Wait a minute. Yes, good, good. I didn't even notice we got a, a wrathful heart, but I got the one that I wanted. Nice. So if we find a new necklace, we can put the barber down for a little while and try that out. If we got the feeling like it. And I might be getting a feeling like it. Yo! Rockinvar, thank you so much for the massive raid, dude. Holy moly. We're on our we're not on our hundred thousand steps IRL grind right now. Getting our tready in, doing some dungeons with the boys. Thank you so much, man. And big flex for you, and big flex for the rack raiders. Thank you so much. What are you guys doing today? Get a little bit of Diablo action in yourself, perhaps? Thank you. Okay, we're not leveling that. We're going to try to get Territorial a little bit more leveled up so that when we do equip it, it'll have a nice wide radius for the big gains. Yeah, we got to find a new necklace now.